Hello, my name is Fred, and welcome back to our Primed and Loaded series. A question we get is, did the English modify their armor? So the question, did the English modify their use of armor? In fact, they did. There's two really interesting examples of this. The first one was a response to the deadliness of the Powhatan's bow and arrow. And that is that every English soldier wore armor, unlike in Europe. But here, we have physical examples of armor that's been modified. For what purpose? Well, we think it allows you to use your musket more effectively while wearing armor. There are three examples of original armors that have this flange modification on it. The first was found in the 1950s on Jamestown Island. The second one was found upriver from Jamestown at a place called Jordan's Journey. The third, most recently, was found by the Jamestown Rediscovery Project and down a well. All of these armors feature this flange. And so my theory, as a person who's been shooting muskets for years, is that this makes it much easier to shoot a musket. It allows you to manage the recoil better. Because this armor is not designed for that. Armor is designed to provide a glancing surface so that anything hitting it will slide off. You really don't want your musket to do that. And so, by able to rest the butt of your musket against this flange, I think it makes shooting a musket in armor significantly easier. So the question is, does it work? Well, we have uh, we've done some tests with this. Our friends at Jamestown Rediscovery and the Jamestown Settlement Museum, we did a test about nine years ago where we fired matchlock muskets while wearing armor, both with the flange, without the flange, and without wearing any armor at all. You might want to see those videos. It works. It works. It works. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below.